this week might just be one of the most important weeks in Xbox and Halo's history. With the Master Chief Collection update, as well as Halo Infinite's big reveal for E3 and possibly Summer Game Fest. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Well, I'm sure we're all very much excited about E3 2021 this year, which is taking place this Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will be doing a watch party on my Twitch channel, link in the description down below. I hope to catch you guys all there so we can all experience the awesome Halo-ness live together all at once. We do stream Halo every Tuesday and Thursday as well, so I hope to see you there. But this week has to be one of the most important weeks in Halo's history, as it looks like we might get an update for the MCC for Season 7, new stuff coming in there as well and could halo infinite be spoiled a little bit with the summer game fest happening this thursday and of course we have e3 this sunday so i wanted to break it all down for you guys to expect what's to come this week so if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos make sure you tap that like button lets me know you want to see some more content like this if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo as you ramp up to the release of halo infinite make sure you tap subscribe Let's get right into the content here. So Monday and Tuesday look to be rather quiet days for Halo, as the rest of this week is going to be very heavily backloaded. I would say to keep an eye out for different kind of Halo leaks, which we will cover on this channel if they seem somewhat credible. As always, the week before E3, that's when the biggest news of leaks tend to happen, which we have been covering our fair amount on the channel already, but there might be something new that might pop up. But the more important thing about leaks is to not take them for exactly their word, but just the general idea of what we could expect and notice any kind of trends. I've been seeing leaks mention about releasing the game in September. I highly doubt against that, but that we've also seen multiple leaks about like a larger big team battle mode, which that would seem more credible as we've had multiple quote unquote insiders talking about that type of topic. But trust me, if anything comes up, you guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. For Tuesday, it's actually possible that we could get a little bit of a teaser trailer for E3 this Sunday. As last year, we did get the little bit of a teaser about the July reveal with this video, with the transmission incoming thing from 343. This essentially just kind of give you a little bit of a tease of what's to come for the reveal trailer. Now, obviously, in 2021, things might be a little bit different, so things might be more focused on just trying to make sure E3 is much more when it needs to be than what it was last year, but I do expect to see some kind of a tease happening this week when it comes to Halo, but again, we'll just have to wait and see what comes up. And next we have Wednesday. Wednesday should be a either our average day or really important day depending on what 343 decided to do with season 7 of the MCC. As stated at the beginning of 2021 that we would have a cadence of every two months having a new season for the MCC. Well the last season released on April 7th for season 6 so season 7 would logically follow two months later. In a recent development update from 343 they mentioned this. In good news there are not a lot of problems that require significant changes ahead of season 7. The team's focus has has been around planning for future content updates, bug fixes across the collection, and continuing work on the custom game browser. We're also continuing to investigate additional modding tools and looking at more ways to bring games in the collection in closer parity with the original releases. So when I read that, I'm like, okay, well, everything seems to be going very smoothly and on schedule. And on schedule would mean that we could have Season 7 release this Wednesday on June 9th. As many of you probably know now, Season 7 brings a lot of new customization that we've never had before within the MCC or in Halo in general. And we're talking about expanded Halo Elite customization as well for Halo 3. We got the Champion Bundle coming back in Halo 4, the potential return of the custom game browser to be a permanent part of Halo, as well as Combat Evolved graphical fixes as well. And mentioned in the last development update for the MCC, they're looking to bring the firefight mode into the match composer as well. So now you can mix and match your Halo Reach and ODST, the various game types as well, all together within one cohesive experience. This will bridge the divide between ODST and Reach gameplay for the same uh, people who like to play firefight. Also gives 343 more customization and ability to maybe create more timed events for firefight, which would be a really fun addition 
addition to the MCC. Though, if Season 7 does not release for us guys, at least we'll get a new playlist update which will have Griffball rotating out and most likely Shoddy Snipers rotating in for the week as well as a refresh of the exchange for more items for you guys to pick up in the Halo store in the MCC. Now we come to Thursday. Thursday could be a very interesting day. It could be a blah whatever kind of day or it could maybe tease or if not spoil the events of E3. Because on Thursday at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Summer Game Fest, which is presented by Prime Gaming, will be showcasing all the awesomeness that's coming for us this year within the gaming industry. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Summer Game Fest? Well, it's essentially kind of like a, almost like a big promotional month of just content that's gonna be coming around for video games in the year of 2021. There's also a little bit of a celebration just to say how awesome it is that we have such an amazing community to be able to play games together and just enjoy these amazing experiences that video games have to offer nowadays, which is an amazing medium. And actually Halo Infinite is teased within this trailer as well. You hear our direct quote, from one of the previous E3 trailers within this as well for the Summer Game Fest. So could Halo Infinite be teased if not spoiled a little bit for E3? Possibly, possibly not. If we do have that happen, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. And to round off the week, Sunday is one of the biggest days in Halo history, E3 2021. There's a lot to look forward to this one. Yes, Halo Infinite will be showcased there and the presentation will happen this Sunday, even though E3 does start on the 12th. We will keep an eye out to see if there's any kind of announcements or anything that you want to talk about when it comes to E3 and Halo related content. But I'm sure first day will be more just kind of like a official PR kind of day. No major announcements being made, at least on the Halo side of things, because on the third 13th on Sunday for E3, that's when Xbox presentation will happen. But keep in mind that Xbox and Nintendo are pinnacle partners for E3. So we could see a really huge showcasing of Xbox at E3 this year. And Xbox's main title being Halo for this year of 2021, we could expect a big showing and more information throughout the entire day. And the day after E3 starts, we have June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is the official presentation of Halo Infinite. There is a lot of speculation going into this event as well as it's a 90 minute presentation for the Xbox brand as a whole, which this key art, which is what they showcase, showcases a lot of Halo Infinite, probably some 20 year celebration as well as Starfield to be showcased as well are the two main games they want to talk about within this E3 presentation. There have been rumors of different kind of game modes being announced, this being a very multiplayer heavily focused presentation, which I could, could see that actually happening. A potential September release, which I doubt, and also a demo available right after the event, I doubt that as well. As I've been following Halo news for years now at this point, and I have seen no indication of a demo being released right after E3, as it kind of conflicts with the idea of the flighting process which they mentioned previously would start small and then get larger as we get closer to the release date of Halo Infinite and releasing a demo for everyone just to go out and play kind of goes against the idea of what they're trying to accomplish with the whole flighting process so I feel like there's a bit of contradicting philosophies there but hey we won't know until it actually happens but if anything does happen which obviously something will happen at E3 on this Sunday I will let you guys know on this channel. We will be doing a live stream of the presentation as well on my Twitch channel, link in the description down below. Hope to catch you guys there with the community. We will be doing a lot of fun activities as well and just enjoying Halo all together at once, which is gonna be amazing. But until then, we just have to wait a few more days to get our juicy Halo Infinite information. But as this news trickles in throughout the week, I guarantee I'll be making guys videos individually about each topic to go a deep dive into each one and what they really mean for Halo. So Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you missed any content from me recently or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.